feel like we have to jump in there. This is probably not a good idea. It's fine. Oh wait, no. It was way back in the past. Okay, we're going back through the events. This is interesting. We're going real far back now. Hello everyone, my name is ASDF. Welcome back to Thinking with Time Machine. And we have found that we cannot think with Time Machine. And when we finally get into the groove, the game crashes. So fingers crossed today, no crashes. Now, I've seen the comments. And for one, thank you guys for commenting on everything. Thank you guys for all the subscribers. We're closing in on 200 so fast. It was just last week that I was saying thank you for 150. But there have been some questions as to how does the ray tracing work? What is this mod all about? You can see it gets weird sometimes. Ray tracing is kind of short for ray traced global illumination, which means that it calculates lighting differently. The old version is path traced global illumination. So RTGI is ray tracing. PTGI is old school path tracing. We're using reshade and you can see the difference in how things glow or don't glow with the RTGI mod that we're using. Technically speaking, RTX is Nvidia's brand of ray tracing, but RTGI is kind of a general technology that Nvidia is famous for using. So this does not use RTX, but it does use ray tracing because it's that RTGI mod. All that aside, thank you guys for commenting, thank you guys for asking questions, and uh, I welcome anybody to continue asking, continue commenting, continue telling me that I am dumb and don't know what I'm doing, because let's be honest, I'm dumb and I don't know what I'm doing. All right. Are we already on test chamber seven? I did that whole explanation for ray tracing and now it's seemingly super buggy, but whatever, it's fine. Does this mean that the RTX thing is clickbait? Yes, it means that the RTX thing is a little bit clickbait. All right, how are we gonna do this? We've got a cube here, but we've got stuff happening all up in here. I have a feeling we're gonna need to record ourselves moving that cube over, but I'm not sure how to do it yet. That deactivates it for a time. I bet what we can do, let's try this. Now it's R to record, Q to stop recording, and F to play it back. So let's record, pick this up, walk over here, put it down, and then stop recording. Then we'll go over here and push the button and uh, see if we can get it going. So we push this button, then we start this recording. And then she should go over and just put it down. She just drops it. Hmm. Do we have to do the same puzzle four times in here? This is what I'm talking about with the repetitive. Like, they literally hit copy and paste in this test chamber, so we have to do the same action multiple times. Which is not necessarily... problem solving. Yes, it is test solving, but not problem solving. Okay, so maybe what we do is record ourselves here hit the button and then end the recording so that we can push the button from over here. Cause I think this is not quite long enough. Oh no, it's totally long enough. What in the world? And then we can move the cube over that way. I don't know if we want to though. Well, it's here now. Oh, we almost, we almost picked the dust on that one. Okay. Got it there. And then we've got it here. Is that really the whole test? Like that, what, what were all, what was the intended beta for this? What, how, we were supposed to use these things, I'm certain. But yeah, we're not gonna, we're just gonna move on and pretend that was the right way to do it. Also, sometimes the elevator goes down at the end and then it comes up at the start of the next one. Have you guys noticed that? Like, they're not always consistent. What's up, Water Crate? Welcome in. First time, I believe. We're glad to have you here. All right, so we've got a timed thing. What does this do? This forms a cube on a timer. Oh, and it deactivates the grid. Okay. 
And then we've got something similar over here. So we need to have an edgeless cube there, which I'm assuming generates out of this side. And we need to have a cube there. Uh, you think I solved it outside the box? Yeah, I think so too. Because um, there were portal surfaces everywhere and I just picked the easy mode. I just picked the grab the cube and run to the exit mode. Okay, so let's do the cube one first so we can put it down over here. Oh, this is kind of tricky because the portals don't link up when you record them afterwards. But we can start trying to figure it out. So we have this here. And then I think we can just carry it over to the end because this thing is going to drop, right? Oh, but there's another grid over there. What if we jump out and plop it down? Hey. What if we recorded ourselves dying? What would happen? Oh, I didn't stay. Okay. I, I don't know what I expected to happen there. Oh, but we can... Okay, so hear, hear me out on this one. Let's try recording here. This might get a little funky, but bear with me. We're going to try this and this. Oh, but we can't put one there. Oh, but we can, apparently? That's strange that we can put portals there on the recording. So we're going to start that recording going. Then we're going to do this one so that all these fields drop. Oh, but I need it here. Unfortunate. Let's record here. We'll push the button. And then we'll fire a portal there and there. And then we'll take this cube through. And then we'll put it down. And then we'll end the recording. And then I think if we start that while we start this one then that'll just work out, right? Because I could put it there and there. And then I can go through this side and put this down here. And then the door should open, right? It's a thing of beauty. What, did it put down in the wrong spot, really? Oh my goodness. Okay, record, here we go. This is the one. We put a portal, we put a portal. We lift it real high so it doesn't get fizzled. And then we come around and we drop it right here in the thing. And then we end the recording. And then we start playing the recording while we do this side. Oh, I need to get the cube. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh, oh. Almost fizzled. It's fine. I didn't do it. It's, it's all good. Yes, it opened. Oh, thank goodness we made it. Wow, that was some tight timing. Up or down, we're going up. Number nine, but it restarted the hash marks. Oh, there's a lot of dangers in here. There's a dude standing on a button. Oh my. What is this? Whatever it is, it's really cool looking. Oh, we put our tablet in there? Is this a time machine now? Do we have to jump in there? I feel like we have to jump in there. This is probably not a good idea. It's fine. Oh, this is it. January 21st, 2021, just before midnight, right? GLaDOS said we needed to return to this day for some reason. Oh, wait, no. It was way back in the past. Okay, we're going back through the events. This is interesting. We're going real far back now, before GLaDOS died. But do we get to keep the tap? What? Why are you still here? You are free. Hi, GLaDOS. Oh, was that it? That was it. Oh, we should have we should have played the whole mod in one sitting. That really was a short mod. So I'm going to have to figure out what to do for it crashed. It crashed during the credits. Dude, I would love watching the credits because it gives like props to the people that actually made the mod. 
but if your credits crash, I don't know if you want credit for making a game that crashes. <laughs> oh my goodness. That does it for today. So thank you guys for coming on by for a very short video, very short stream. Um, please remember to like and subscribe if you like the content and want to stay up to date with what we're doing. It's one or two clicks for you, but it really helps me out a ton. And as always, hopefully you have a great rest of your day and I'll see you guys in the next one.